Oh, hi. Hello. I did not see you there. Hi, everybody. I've been kind of psyching off a bit on podcast. I've been busy trying to catch up with schoolwork because I haven't been able to because of it being Christmas and I've been busy with work. So, yeah. But uh, I hope everyone have a very awesome Christmas and a good start to New Year. And also, Merry Christmas to everyone in Eastern Europe who are uh, Orthodox Christians. Merry Christmas. And may there be blessings on you all. So, today, welcome to episode 6 of my questions my mom asked me about Rome. Remember, it's a Rome thing. Yes. But, uh, so, today, so today's podcast is going to be about the emperor. Questions he actually asked about the emperor, Roman emperor Hadrian. So, I'm going to paint a picture, a good picture. Well, maybe kind of picture. I'm not good at painting pictures. I'm not I'm not Bob Ross who painted a lot of good pictures. So, I'm going to set the stage of... Okay, we're just gonna skip the Augustine, the Julio Claudian emperors. So, okay, so after Nero's death, there has been there's a civil war called the Year of the Four Emperors, and the victor, Emperor Vespasian, became the next, the new emperor, establishing the Flavian. After him came his son Titus, then his brother Domitian. So there are three emperors then. To prevent a, another civil war after the death of after Domitian was assassinated, the Senate appointed Nerva as a kind of a caretaker emperor who kicked off started Nerva Antonian dynasty. So yeah, but so which is basically a coin. It be, had a coin. A phrase been coined from that. It's called the year the five good emperors, which were basically Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, Antonius Pius, and Marcus Aurelius, who is also known as who is the known as Foster, and also sadly the emperor who decided to like let his idiot, idiot son Commodus become the next emperor. And you can tell how that went, especially glad the movie Gladiator. Gladiator, are you not entertained? Yes. So, so I had to get my handy dandy notebook down so I could write questions and the answers that my mom was writing. So, yes. So, when did he become the first question? When did he become emperor? How long was the emperor? What was his reign like? Why was he in Britain? Why did he build the wall? When was he in Britain? When did, when and how did he die? And how old was he when he died? So, after the death of his adopted father, Hadrian, Trajan, Hadrian became the new emperor. On August 11th, 117 AD, after Hadrian died. And uh, so, and of course, the story behind that, that he may not have been adopted, but his adopted mother may was able to make him emperor. So, so if you're interested in reading, I recommend reading books like about Hadrian or Caesar Augustus because it covers a lot more information than just what history books cover. Because history books just cover like a flat surface, a very flat surface. But like, and books like the one I just showed cover the layers of what's going on. Why did this specific emperor act, act like? And I like books like that. So if anyone wants to read them, I suggest reading them. If anyone would like to. If anyone finds a specific, a specific emperor they like, like for me, I got numerous ones, but my favorite one is the Emperor Aurelian, who is a third, late third century Roman emperor and general. So I digress and I apologize. So, so question number two: He ruled the, the uh, he was emperor for twenty years and ten months. So twenty years of traveling or lots of traveling and parties most days. Yeah, and his reign. Rain started with, and question number three, what was his reign, reign like? It was a mix between very peaceful, and it did have a couple, and of course at the very beginning started off at not in a good way, he assassinated four, four senators, and the senate did not appreciate that, they refused to deify him after his death. So, and speaking of revolts, uh, there were a couple in Egypt and Judea, which is modern day Israel. So, you have uh, Shai Simon Barco revolt, so I was just reading it, it's hard to explain, and there's also a revolt of Judeans in Egypt too. So he had to, so the empire, so the empire and the army itself had to put the hammer down, literally. So, and, so, so because of that he is not well liked about among uh, Judean circles, not at all. And when he was traveling around the empire, and this is uh, 3, 3A of why was he in Britain? He was traveling around the empire, visiting provinces like Augustus did during his lifetime. So, and he made a stop in Britain, visit there, and also, if anyone's been been north of the wall, 
north of England. Uh, he built, he had the army build a wall in response to Celtic invasions and also the possible destruction of a, the 9th Hispania Legion. They still haven't found it yet. They kind of claim it got destroyed there or it got destroyed in the Middle East. It's like, like, what? What? Just tell us now! Blah, I'll get you the chopper! Sorry, I had to do that. So, but when he was there, it was around 121 AD. And in response, he had the auxiliaries and legionaries stationed there, like the 20th Legion, the 4th, the 2nd August Legion, that was that Spatian's Legion before he retired, and a couple other. And question number four when and how did he die? After, oh yeah, fun fact, before I continue that, just a, just a fun fact that Hadrian was Rome's first gay emperor. So, yeah, because uh, he uh, had a thing with with a boy named Antonius in the province of Bithynia in Asia Minor. And let's just say things escalated rather quickly to the point where in Egypt, when Antonius drowned, uh, he decided to build a temple, a city, in the name of his dead lover, and also kind of went overboard a bit with it. Yeah. Oh well. And so, but uh, let's see. When it when how did he die? Uh, he died in, on July 10th at 10. I mean July 10th at 138 AD, where he was in his off his home away from home. Uh, he was having started his all the small partying days started to uh, catch up, and he started that uh, started going through weird moments and and, uh, and also he. And one of the reasons he died was he had cardiac, cardio, cardiac issues and old age, and also because he partied too much and did some things which the Senate and the nobility at the time did not exactly agree with. So when he died, he was question number five was how old was he when he died? But when he died, he was 62 years old. So and part of what helped the line of the five great emperors that they were adopted and they and they picked good emperors to to be adopted. So so the next emperor he had that was the next emperor was Antonius Pius, who earned the pious part because he literally had to force the Senate into deifying Hadrian despite what he did. So and so it like that so Antonius Pius was the fourth in line of good emperors and he did a good job but the empire slept peacefully and he was buried along alongside uh, Hadrian and Hadrian's mausoleum which the Castel D'Angelo, which is a straight shot from the ba- from the Vatican. So yeah, so I hope everyone enjoys that podcast and have a good night. Remember, bring glory to Rome always, ever. So don't don't take off Rome or things don't go well at all. Nope, nope, nope. Have a good night.